half cup of quick oats in my boiling water. Next, I put in my pumpkin puree and stirred it for a few minutes. For some extra sweetness, I added in some coconut sugar. Then I let it simmer for a few minutes and moved on to the apples. So I just cut my apples and if you don't have an apple slicer then you need to get one because it is such a time saver. But I just cut my apples into small cube sizes and then put it into my oatmeal and I just kept stirring until the apple softened. To top it off, I sprinkled some cinnamon and this breakfast is seriously so so good and it is perfect for fall time. For my first snack of the day, I had Greek yogurt with some fruit so I just cut up some strawberries as well as raspberries and then I just put on some granola and sprinkled on some chia seeds on top. For lunch, I made spinach lentil soup, so I diced one onion and three carrots and I just sauteed that for a few minutes. Next, I added in my minced garlic as well as cumin and paprika. Then I added four cups of vegetable broth and one cup of water. Next, I put in one can of diced tomatoes and two cups of lentils. Once the soup started boiling, I simmered it for around 30 minutes until the lentils softened and then I just added the spinach. I preheated my oven to 425 degrees and baked my sweet potato. In the meantime, I sauteed my kale and spinach. Next, I sliced my sweet potato in half and made a pocket to put my vegetables in. And then on top, I just added a little bit of sriracha sauce for an extra kick of spiciness. Starting off, I seasoned the chicken with pepper, salt, and Mrs. Dash. Then I put the chicken in the pan and poured a little bit of vegetable broth and I put it on medium to low heat and just let the chicken cook by itself. In the meantime, I'm going to work on my vegetables. So I started off with Brussels sprouts and I just cut the ends off and just basically cut it in half. For my Brussels sprouts, I like to add minced garlic, half a lemon juice, and a drizzle of olive oil. For the tomatoes, I like to add black pepper and basil leaves, and then I just roasted them for a few minutes. Now onto plating my dinner, I just added some Parmesan cheese on my Brussels sprouts, and then squeezed some lemon all over. And lastly, I just added some cranberry sauce. This plate literally screams fall, like this is why I love fall, guys. For dessert, I had pumpkin pie because it is literally the best thing in the entire world and I always eat it whenever fall arrives. Mm -hmm. 